Hey, this is a follow-up to my last video where I showed how to install my Dream Radar Cart Redirect Patch. Uh, for those who don't know what it is, it allows Dream Radar to read and write from a Gen 5 save file on the SD card instead of a physical Gen 5 cartridge. This is helpful whenever you want to play your Gen 5 games using something like Twilight Menu on the 3DS or emulators on your phone or your computer. And a lot of you in the comments asked for instructions on how to use the patch with Citra for Android, so here it is. Since Citra is no longer on the Play Store, I just downloaded Lime3DS, which is based on Citra. So let's get started by setting up Lime3DS first. Get started. I am going to skip on the notifications, skip on the microphone and camera, selecting the user folder. So on the SD card of my phone, I'm going to create a new folder called Lime3DS. I'm going to click Use this folder, Allow. Awesome. I'm going to skip on this game folder for the moment and done. I already dumped Dream Radar from my 3DS uh, and I copied it over to my phone. So I'm going to install a CIA file in my games directory and it'll be Dream Radar. I am also going to configure my audio to, let's see, I'm just going to turn it off. Cool. So now we can take a look at um, what Dream Radar looks like. Creating the save data, perfect. It's working. I'm gonna close the game. Right now, my phone is connected to my computer. So I'm gonna be able to copy a version of the uh, save file onto my phone. And here we go. You can see that I uh, have the ability to send research data. So currently I don't have the patch installed. Let's see what happens whenever the patch is not installed. You try to send research data. It says that you need black two or white two. And unfortunately, neither of those are inserted at the moment. So let's fix that problem. I am going to close out of this game. I'm going to close actually out of Lime 3DS entirely. This is the GitHub repository for the patch. I'll post a link to this in the description below. This has a set of instructions that we can follow. And there are really just three steps that we need to do. The first, we need to download the patch zip file. Second, we need to extract it to the 3DS SD card. In this case, we're going to extract it to Lime 3DS's emulated SD card on your phone. And then lastly, we need to make sure we have a Gen 5 save file at the right place. Simple enough, let's do it. So step one, we need to download the patch zip file. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you see this releases section. Click on the latest release, and then scroll a little bit down. You'll see a link that says patches.zip. Download that. Perfect, we already completed step one. Easy. Step two, we need to extract the zip file to the correct location. So if we go back to those instructions from before, you'll see that there are a few different directories that we might copy the patches to, depending on the game that we're playing. For this video, we are playing Dream Radar, and we're playing just the all regions version here. So let's copy the title ID. And now we need to make a directory called Luma and titles, and then that title ID. So open up your file manager on your phone, go into that Lime 3DS folder, and there's something called SDMC. That is the emulated SD for this uh, 3DS. Let's create a new folder in here. And this new folder, we will call Luma. And then in Luma, we need to create a new folder called titles. Make sure these are all lowercase. And finally, we need to create a new folder with that title ID that we copied earlier from the GitHub repository. Excellent. Now we need to extract the downloaded file into this uh, new location. So if we go back up to our phone, we go to download, we open up that patches.zip, there's going to be an out folder in there, and then there's going to be different folders for the different games. Click on radar, and then you'll have two patches, black two or white two. It's important that you pick the right patch for whatever game you're playing. 
I play white too. So I am going to select that. I'm going to extract it to the folder that we made, Luma, Titles, and then that title ID, and then click Extract. One last step that we need to do, we need to rename that patch. So let's go back in there, and then let's rename this to code.ips. It also has to be lowercase. And that's it. We completed step two. The last thing that we need to do is copy our Gen5 save file to the correct location. So we need to make one more set of directories. Let's go back up to that emulated SD card for Line 3DS. We're going to create a new folder called ROMs. And then in there, we're going to create one called NDS. And then one more called saves. And since my computer and my phone are still connected, I'm going to copy my save file into this uh, folder here. So white2.save, again, the name is important. If you name it incorrectly, then the game is going to think that the cartridge is not inserted. And uh, that's it. Now we've completed step three. So let's open up line 3DS and start Dream Radar and see what happens. We'll try to send research data. And here, this time we don't have a, uh, we don't have an error. So now we can transfer. The game thinks that a cartridge is actually inserted. We can click yes, sending the research data, and that's it. No error this time. We can transfer without issues, and it's going to be on that white two save file that we copied earlier. And that's it. This same method applies to pretty much any 3DS patch or mod. So let me know in the comments if this helped or if you're still having problems. Also, I created a new Discord for anyone interested in Pokemon, odd tech, software development, things along those lines. I'll put a link in the description, and I hope to see you there. Thanks.